And so, um, uh, as far as change goes, I think we can be expecting a lot of change, lots of change. And it's not just, you know, when the financial stuff happens and people start losing their jobs. Um, they also lose a lot of what they knew as their life goes because you have to change everything. So, um, a lot of friends of mine that have been having troubles, I mean, they're having to let go of everything, including their animals that they love. My, my girlfriend sent me a message, you know, saying, do you want any of my things, and, and hopefully somebody will take the cat that I love. And so she's planning on couch sitting between places, and, you know, on a, on a real level, that that's horrible, you know. But uh, I went through that. I went through being really rich and living up on the hill, and the maids, and the, you know, limos, and the whole deal. And, uh, and then I was living in a van, <laughs> not too long after that, uh, pregnant and uh, on food stamps. So, you know, life is about change and I've been through change already and we're looking like we're going through a, a big change here, a, a really big change here. So, it's one of the things that you can count on though for change and, and this is, uh, this is a positive, even though there's so many negatives and it's so scary and it's hard to let go of things you love and I so understand that. As I said, I went through it, lost everything. Um, but wow, you know what? I, I found me. I found me back then in a way that I never did when I had all the stuff because you got to take care of so much stuff. And um, there were so many beautiful moments in my life during those times when I had nothing and was sleeping on people's you know, couches and making do with clothes people lent me and I was, it was a new starting point for me of authenticity that, that grew me into the place I am now. I mean, I, I'm doing good now. I got a restaurant by a beach city with big stars that come in it, la-di-da. And I'm not naive enough to think that that couldn't change tomorrow either, you know. Everything could change. Everything could change. And so I'm just saying, you know, let's embrace that change. And um, if we got to sell a bunch of shit, let's sell it. And if we got to move in with people, then let's move in with people and uh, love each other. And, and one thing I can tell you for sure, though, and uh, I know people made a video about this and kind of joked about, it, you know, the good things about being poor or without a job is that you have time. But the truth is, you know, most of us put off doing everything, you know, all our big wishes until, oh, I'm, when I retire, that's when I'll, like, see the world or write my book or do whatever. And, you know, when you have very little and need very little, what you do have is time. And it's worth a lot more than money. And, um... Anyway, heads up to everybody who's going through difficult times up there and I, out there, and um, I really send my love and blessings to you all, and 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 wish you better days. And um, you know, I'm just pleading with everybody now, like try and get off the grid as much as possible, so that when the changes do happen, you're not, it's not as drastic for you. You know, I start making some slower movements toward things that are less dependent and less materialistic so that it's not going to feel like the rug was pulled out from underneath you. So anyway, have a great day. We're living in amazing times though, aren't we? And, and I guess that's one thing I just wanted to say. In this changing world, what we think we're going to be able or need to do to be prepared is going to change. It's going to change. The times, they are a changing. And the best way and the only way to go is to change with it. So, um, you know, that great book, Illusions, and they talked about the little beings that were clinging, and they were clinging to their little little vines at the bottom of the water until one of them had the guts to let go. And at first it got all turbulent and scary, and he banged up against things, and they're like, oh, he's done for. He let go of that rock he was clinging to. But as he let go and went into the flow, he was lifted into the beauty of the river and, and he sailed and saw all the marvels that the world had to bring. And then the rest of the little beings that were still stuck clinging to their rocks talked about the God that got away, the God that was able to flow and see different worlds. 
So I'm saying, hey, you know, if we're getting knocked off of holding on to our little rock, whatever that is, and as scary as it looks, it may be bringing us to a more beautiful place than we could ever imagine or know at this time. And so I guess just try and embrace change and listen to yourself. That was the other one, big thing I wanted to say. Because, you know, I had plans to go to upstate New York. That's where I've got an aqua, I own land up there. And, you know, with a well, with an aquifer under it. So I, I'll always have water limited growing in uh, upstate New York because it's a snowy land so I'd have to you know do all those kind of pioneer things like grow food in the summer and pack it up and save it in the winter if that's where I go but if I get some new information inside me or that I pick up and all of a sudden the pieces start putting together looking like that's not the best place for me to take my son then I'm gonna have to change, and so are you. So I, I, I really like to say, please don't get stuck in any one way, but be open to the change and where that change brings you, and trust yourself and trust your gut, and go with it. And 